So, another month, another estate auction. What have I done? Lots to go through here, so let's get into it. So, if you've watched any of my previous videos, um, first of all, thank you. I appreciate it. It's fun to do, and the fact that anybody is watching it all is uh, flattering, to say the least. Second of all, congratulations on being a person with great taste. And third, you know that I live for boxes full of plastic crap. Uh, plastic gold, as we call it here. Um, I'm living for these boxes with guns and body parts and backpacks and crash test dummy torsos. Anyway, cannot wait to dig into this stuff and see what we got. All right, first up, have a couple of carded She-Ra Princess of Power figures. The cards are rough. This one's got a big crease. And also, I guess they took the proof of purchase off the corner there. But it is still sealed. Figure is minty. Looks cool. Glimmer. One you don't see quite as often. Um, I'm not a huge collector of She-Ra. You know, I, I liked Masters of the Universe when I was a kid, and She-Ra definitely was a part of that. I don't really collect them, but I have a hard time turning down carded stuff from that era. But anyways, it doesn't matter. This will not be going in my collection because my wife has already claimed these. Next, what's a toy auction without some Star Wars? Uh, here we have a Vader case, a vintage Vader case. Of course, I had one as a kid, and I've had a few of these as an adult. Um, for 10 bucks, I'm going to pick it up. I was pretty happy with it because the latches are all intact and it has all of the you know, the rails that keep the figures in, has the door over there, and no stickers apply to any of it. So you could, you know, print your own uh, and put in here in the order that you like, you know, to clean them up. Uh, the case itself is pretty dusty, dirty, could use a clean and a polish, but that is not a big deal. And the only Star Wars figures I picked up, I uh, did get an Obi-Wan, it's missing the tip of the lightsaber there, but the cape is in nice shape. And a Vader. Who does have the tip it's a little crooked but it is still there and anymore I'm having a hard time finding those first wave of figures uh, complete like that also a pretty nice cape so it's pretty amazing how the prices keep creeping up on these although there are so many of them out there but a Vader these days is gonna run you 40 or 50 bucks so if I see a nice one I'm probably gonna pick it up next up a couple of vintage Donald Duck plush uh, it's a Knickerbocker um, I'm not sure if this is Knickerbocker or Applause, but uh, I don't usually do plush, but I am a duck guy. Um, usually I stick to stuff based on the Carl Barks comics, uh, which I love, but for vintage duck stuff, I'll pick it up if it's cheap enough, and I think I was in like three bucks for these. So these are just something to sit on the shelf for the personal collection. So we have this box of random G.I. Joe parts. Looks like mostly junk. Um, I'm not even sure what's in here. There's a Crimson Guard torso. We've got some helmets. I think there's some face masks in here for the Alley Vipers. I don't even know. Pack rat, missiles, stuff. There was something in a little bag. Yeah. I'm gonna have to see what this is because they bothered to put it in a little bag by itself, so it must be of some importance to somebody. I have to look that up. But the real reason why I picked up this lot is actually not for the G.I. Joe stuff at all. What I saw in the picture was uh -huh. for some reason there's a Diaclone pilot in here. Um, what is odd about this is that. I don't know if I'd ever found a die clone driver or pilot in a lot in the entire time I've done this, which is, you know, like 30 years now. Um, and in the past six months, I've found two. So for some reason, this guy was in here with this box of G.I. Joe stuff, but this is what caught my eye. He was blurry and just in there in the bottom. And yeah, that's what I wanted. That's why I bought this lot. So... I'll have to do some research. I'm not sure exactly which robot he goes to. Um, maybe one of the dinosaurs, one of the dino robos, maybe one of the train robos. I'm not sure. I'll have to look it up. But anyways, this little man 
is why I bought all this crap. The rest of it's gravy. Whatever I can get out of these missiles, but I'm not sure if I need any of them for any of my stuff. But we'll go through it and see what we've got, and I'll let you know if anything looked particularly cool. All right, next up, uh, if you've watched the older videos, you know I'm into Stompers and LGN Rough Riders and Soma uh, cars and all that sort of stuff. Um, there were two lots of Stompers that I went pretty hard after, but they ended up closing beyond what I felt was a reasonable amount, so I did not pursue them. I would have liked to have had them, but it gets to a point where like, well, I can buy all this stuff on eBay cheaper or at a show cheaper, so... Uh, Psychologically couldn't make the leap, but I did get this lot of LGN uh, Rough Rider stuff. It's mostly has some shells, some chassis. They are in decent shape, but they need a serious cleaning. All this stuff will have to get cleaned up. But the stickers are still there, and they look pretty nice. Love these trucks. Pop popper. Gotta love it. And of course the A-Team truck. Four by four. So yeah, mostly just body shells. There's some chassis. I don't know if they work. They're all gonna need a serious clean and testing to see if anything actually works or if any of the stuff actually fits together. Got a bunch of tires. So it's just a big junk lot, but at the price was worth picking up. Um, anytime I can get a lot of them in one go, it's pretty good. I'll have to check and see if I have some more chassis in my inventory to finish these up. But if not, I'm still happy I picked them up. Also grabbed this <clears throat> pretty much random lot of carded uh, Transformers, Titans Return, Power of the Primes. These aren't really worth much. You might squeeze 15, 20 bucks out of them, but I think I paid around five a piece for them. So why not, right? They'll go in a box somewhere and I'll forget that I had them and in one year I'll probably sell them. The circle of life. All right, the next I picked up several small G.I. Joe lots. Mostly, it's almost all 90s stuff, which is the stuff I don't know as well. Um, these, I think they're what, Mega Monsters, the Bio Viper, and a Monster Viper, which as a kid, I thought this was the most ridiculous crap I'd ever seen. As an adult, I'm starting to think this stuff is cool because I don't see it as much as I see the old stuff, and I've had almost all the old stuff, so the new, the later stuff is actually more interesting to me now. The Monstro Viper is complete. Uh, the Bio Viper is not, but his tentacles are all there, and they're in pretty nice shape. There's a little tear right there, but otherwise, pretty solid, and I think that's really what you want for this guy, because I think the, I think he has a missile launcher, and I don't think it costs that much to pick one up. So yeah, real happy to grab those. We got some other random figures here. Star Brigade. I mean, this is the stuff that you couldn't give away back in the 90s, and now people are looking for it. Who knew? A rule of 25, I guess. But uh, this is actually this Vipra Jinx repaint. I think she was packaged like in the 1998 line, the Toys R Us line, with they called it the Rattler, I believe, but it was actually a, uh, it was a Sting, right? Or a Vamp. Oh, there's a Superpowers Steppenwolf for some reason. Um, I picked up for 10 bucks. He is complete. Uh, I like Steppenwolf because I actually own the original card art, the Keith Givens art for the production for the card. Um, I picked up several years ago from Spencer Beck at a show. Uh, so I'd like to get a carded Steppenwolf at some point to display them together. Um, this Viper, he's like Viper Volume 4, I think it's a Battle Corps. He is complete. The Alley Viper is not complete, but I was amazed for what just the figure alone sells for, uh, especially with the visor. The visor seems to be the piece everyone wants, so, I mean, I was blown away that complete, these guys can be like 60, 70, 80 bucks. Um, so the figure looked pretty nice, so for the lot of two of them, I only didn't grab that. 
some more guys. I think it's a battle uh, metal head. And these, these are like the Ninja Viper. I think they're Shadow Ninjas, something like that, is what they call this subline. Kind of this translucent like material. Those are actually pretty cool. Did not like them as a kid, but as an adult, again, seeing the stuff that you didn't see back then, it's a little more interesting now. I like this uh, Bushido, same thing. I think they called them, I'll have to look, Shadow Ninjas, Shadow something or other. But I, I kind of dig that paint job on that translucent plastic. That's actually pretty cool. And there's a battle for um, Major Blood. He's not really worth anything, but he is complete. Uh, and then also got a couple box lots of, of G.I. Joe paper. There's a card for an Alley Viper, which I really picked up because these trading cards. You know, these, not perfect, but they still sell. It's kind of surprising what the individual cards will sell for. But what I really wanted was this lot of paper. All these things. You got some file cards. And then for some reason, there's a sticker sheet, for, I think, for the Patriot. There's another one back here. Yeah, unused decal sheets. But what I really got this lot for was the green blueprints for the G.I. Joe Falcon Glider. That is definitely not something you see every day. So the lot was worth picking up just to get those blueprints and a couple of sealed pack of trading cards. Because who doesn't love trading cards, right? So I'm just starting to dig into these boxes and um, finding just such a random assortment of things is really pretty fascinating. Um, so let's dig into some of the stuff I've found so far. These are Dino Riders, and they're unbroken. Uh, Dino Rider stuff, I never, ever see it. Um, and there are actually a couple pieces in here, I think, from Dino Riders. I think this is Skeleton Warriors, maybe? Um, Starior's pieces, Boltor. Got a couple of those. I had a bunch of this stuff a few months ago in that big Starior's uh, lot that I picked up. Centurion's helmet. It's like an orbital defense or orbital something or other playset. Um, we got some, I think these little guys are air raiders. Wind tyrants, something like that. I had a friend who had a lot of air raiders as a kid. I, I never got into it, but they are cool. Uh, the Jackal Man Club from Thundercats. Got a Captain Power piece here. I guess these are the little, this comes with the ring I think the power ring. I guess these are the little slides that you can project. Again, didn't have Captain Planet either. Um, got some Ninja Turtles stuff. Let's see. I think it's a Terminator. Some kind of Terminator arm. Uh, oh, the Zor, the back of the Zor armor, Masters of the Universe. Got a, is that a Captain Power? Stingray backpack. Uh, again, just a fascinating assortment of things. Uh, Ghostbusters Ecto-3 flag. And the tabs are still good on that. Uh, that's a, a G.I. Joe launcher, I think. Maybe Stalker. Um, and this is odd. A fun school G.I. Joe backpack. Night Viper, I think. Um, this one, I had to look this one up because it's something like Monster Warriors or Monster Fighters or something, a 90s line that I am not familiar with, but yeah, that's a random thing. Uh, this is a rubber LJN Voltron sword. And again, this stuff is all just in here together. Um, I don't know, so I don't know if the people who, you know, had all these toys, if these were like dealers, if this is just a lot of broken stuff or, or bits and pieces they threw in a box, but this is the kind of stuff I live for. Uh, got a tomahawk blade, unbroken. Those are always nice. Um, a lot of missiles, anything else cool. This is a Scorponok, G1 Scorponok, like a leg panel, something like that. There's another piece in here for that as well. I uh, got some G.I. Joe Headquarters, 
floodlights. There's some more G.I. Joe headquarters stuff in here, too. Somewhere. Uh, we've got... That's a Jurassic Park. Alan Grant. Trap net thingy. Got some Conquest missiles. The Borg stand. Playmates. Uh, oh, yeah. Here's some more uh, headquarters stuff. G.I. Joe headquarters. Not broken. Real nice. Probably hang on to that stuff because I get a headquarters every once in a while. And they're always missing some bits and pieces. So, yeah, just a lot of interesting things. This, I think, was Bone Age, was maybe the line this was from. Um, that's a uh, sideswipe gun, I think. But it's all the chrome has come off of it. It's a shame. Ring Raiders. Got some guns that I think, I don't know, they may be Lennard, maybe Core guns. I'll have to double check. It's uh, the Pack Rat. I think this is the, all the stuff for the missile launcher. I assume this goes in here. Yeah. All right. Oh, they want to come apart, don't they? Still, I'll do that later. I won't bore you with it now. But yeah, with Pack Rat missile launcher, and then with other Pack Rat, uh, I had this one as a kid. I want to hope that the two pieces like that are in here somewhere. Hopefully, complete that guy. There's the camera for the GI Joe headquarters. Yeah, a lot of random cool stuff. That's uh, Ninja Turtles, right? bazooka some kind of bazooka um yeah lots and lots of stuff so let's keep digging all right another dig a few more pieces have this thundercats lair i guess it's a door trap door uh, still has the decal looks pretty good uh and the tabs don't seem to be broken so i think this is a good piece for sure Happy to have that. Uh, this is also Thundercats, I believe. Some kind of attack sled shield thing. I was never really a Thundercats guy. This is a new one for me. Pirates of uh, Darkwater. Never had anything from that collection. This is a sail to a ship. I had to look it up. The Wraith ship. I don't know. That's pretty cool. Not something you see every day. I thought that was broken at first, but I think that may just be what that looks like. Uh, a mask helmet no figure or, or vehicle but the helmet and this is kind of blowing my mind i believe from what i can tell this is from the crystar playset and that playset is crazy expensive if you could even find one i've only seen one in person once um but yeah this thing is a little chunk of change right here by itself like probably a good 30 bucks or something just for this winch so pretty cool score all right so checking back in i've been going through all these parts uh, when i started this tub was full this flat was completely full to the top and there was a third flat that was smaller that was just the gi joe stuff so in the last week i've cataloged at least this many i've processed it's been a little over 300 individual parts so far so this is still a pretty big project so i think i'm going to go ahead and wrap this up for now finish this video and post it and then come back with a more detailed breakdown of what was in all this uh, stuff here because it's been a pretty fun uh, journey that I don't know two or three people find, might find interesting so anyways uh, go ahead and say goodbye for now if you're enjoying it please you know click and and smash and hit the things if you're so inclined if not that's fine too I understand and uh, but do check me out next time probably in a few days I'll hopefully have the rest of this stuff because there's still I've there's a lot left. So uh, check back in a few days, and uh, I'll see you then. Thanks. Bye.